Hi, and welcome to another episode of Castle Support, the show where we answer all your brewing related questions. Today's question comes from Moldova. If you don't know where that is, grab an atlas. It's a really small country, but uh, hey guys, thanks for reaching out to us. Today's question involves bottles, and we get this question a lot. You know, you've got the light bottles, the green bottles, and the amber bottles. Which one are actually best in terms of beer stability? Now, aesthetics aside, uh, we all can think of beers like Corona, you know, which has got the clear glass. Heineken has the green glass. But what is actually the science behind the, the reason we use different glass types? So the first thing to understand is what is the enemy when it comes to, you know, your finished beer? Remember this word, it's 3-methyl-2-butene-thiol. That is the name of the compound associated with skunky flavors within your beer, which in turn is made by the interaction of light and the alpha acids within hops. Now, it's actually an interesting fact. A while back, like quite a few years back, when America was importing European beers into America, a lot of them experienced this uh, sort of skunky flavor and they actually started to connect the two as tasting authentic. So eventually some of the big breweries uh, purposefully put this into their beer. However, that's no longer the practice. And if you do taste something skunk in your beer, that's not how it's supposed to taste. Anyway, moving on. So what we're looking at is we're looking at the fact that light, okay, is the enemy of beer in a lot of circumstances. Now that directly influences your choice of bottle in a very big way. But let's look at the aspects first. So the first one we're looking at is clear bottles. Now, specifically like beers like Corona, which have that clear bottle. Let's just show you an example now. These clear bottles are good when you're looking at from a marketing perspective because they actually show the beautiful amber color of the beer they contain. However, when you're transporting this beer across continents, you know, it's going from port to port, there is a lot of exposure involved and a lot of light exposure as well. And like we said previously, it's not just the uh, sunlight that is the problem there. It's also these big halogen lights and fluorescent lights within warehouses that can really cause issues. However, some breweries have uh, looked at a way to circumvent this and that is by using CO2 extract um, and by using artificial stabilizers so this uh, chemical reaction either doesn't happen or is greatly minimized. But for a craft beer perspective where we don't add any additives or anything like that, uh, we're going to have to look at a different solution. Next one, let's look at the green bottles. So the green bottles, namely like Heineken and a whole bunch of other brands, they really look very nice, and especially if you can look from a marketing perspective in terms of the brand's uh, colors and so on, this is usually how those bottles are chosen. And meanwhile, they work in uh, a lot of European countries and countries that remain cooler most of the year. Um, it's not so good for the countries that are actually really hot. So once again, what is the, 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 the differences? So the differences are pretty much exactly like it is with clear bottles. With the clear bottles, all the light comes through, but with the green bottles, obviously the green is reflecting the, the green light spectrum and allowing all the others to pass into the beer. Now this is also where the problem comes in because they will still create those skunky compounds that we really don't want in the beer. So if you're not stabilizing and you, there are no other processes that you're taking and you're having a sort of standard craft beer, this is not really going to be ideal for you either. So based on all of that information, what is exactly the right answer to this? Well, everyone has seen the amber beer bottle. I'll show you a splash page. There. The amber beer bottle is by far the king so far because both it shows you that there's actually liquid inside, but more importantly, it blocks most of the light entering into the beer. The amount that's actually entering is so little that it won't really damage the beer over long periods of time. So, and obviously the only improvement from that is beers like Delirium, where they actually have a ceramic coated glass bottle, so there's zero light that actually comes in. You see, the less light at the end of the day that you're letting into the beer, the longer it's going to stay fresh in the way that the brewer intended it to taste. So, if this is a worry to you and in your beer brewery, I would highly suggest that you actually go for a, a bottle that is completely opaque 
as opposed to clearer. And that's just the, the straightforward answer to it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Castle Support. Join us next week. We will be answering more of your brewing related questions. Cheers. Well, the enemy is a compound known as 3-methyl-2-butyl, Jesus Christ, 3-butyl-3-methyl-then-butyl, okay. So remember this word, 3-methyl-2-butyl-thiol, yes!